I've got this feeling I'm feeling you could be the one I see no reason Why I should ever let you go mm -hmm. I don't wanna wake up If I'm dreaming Because you know I can't get enough Of this feeling you're giving me Don't wanna wake up Without Tawny Hotel. I am starting today's vlog off at the Tawny Hotel and it is absolutely unbelievable. So the first thing I'm going to do is to show you a quick room tour. Um, we've literally just got here now. It's taken us nearly three hours to get here and it should have taken an hour and a half but there was actually so much traffic. Um, it's my birthday tomorrow so that is why we are here and I just thought I would give you a quick room tour first. So we're staying in the Primrose, which is one of the retreats. And it is absolutely stunning. So we've got a little golf buggy here. We got driven here because I think it was like a 10, 15 minute walk. But when you've got all your bags and stuff, it's quite a lot. Um, but yeah, this is the room tour. Firstly, you walk in and you've just got like your little getting ready area, wardrobe area, there's a safe, a steamer, um, like flip flops and towels and stuff for the pool because there is a pool here um, and then you walk through the room, it's really warm so there is a bit of an aircon unit in here and this is the bathtub which is absolutely unreal, like literally just look how deep that is, it's nearly as tall as me. And then you've got this beautiful sofa and lounge area. They did actually have some champagne ready for us because they knew it was my birthday. Then we've got a TV on the wall. And then got Josh eating crisps. This beautiful king sized bed with the beautiful um, cladding wooden wall in the background. And then this is our balcony. So we've got some lovely seating area chairs, nice little rocking chairs, then these beautiful views of the gardens, there's a really big lake down there so I think that's what we're going to do now, we're going to go on a walk and then we've got a hot tub, um, I think it's like a big metal like copper basin tub so we're going to get in there tonight. Um, we've got an outdoor shower. Wow. Honestly, I wish we were staying here for more than one night. And then I'll quickly show you the bathroom and then we are going to go on a little tour. This bathroom is absolutely stunning as well. So we've got a beautiful double sink with like black taps, a nice mirror toilet a shower and then this door also takes you to outside to the outdoor shower just wow well. um and i'm just gonna walk back around again because why not <laughs> Sometimes I forget to breathe I'm looking in your eyes Wish you could see the things I see I don't wanna wake up If I'm dreaming Because you know I can't get enough Of this feeling you're giving me 
absolutely free so we've got some water and some of the dash water i think i might just have one of these while i'm getting ready because i have had a little bit of prosecco and stuff um i'm just feeling you know a little bit not drunk but like i can tell oh my god i can tell i've had a drink um so yeah i'm just literally gonna start getting ready now because going out for dinner soon Yeah, so I'm just literally getting ready to go out now. Um, I think we're going out in like, I don't know what time it is, maybe like half an hour. We need to get picked up. But I've got a really warm face from drinking. So I'm just going to refresh my face. I've only got um, tinted moisturiser and bronzer on anyway. Um, I just thought that I would refresh my face. Dash water it is sparkling water infused with wonky peaches, and it's got no calories in it.
had a feeling you'd come back and save me From all those lonely nights and heartbreaks And I feel misplaced without you Why don't we go back to, why don't we go back to Never wanted to end it like we did I guess shit happens for a reason But it's like something feels different from back then Why don't we go back to, why don't we go back to Honestly I'm open wide I don't feel like waking up without you by my side I still see your silhouette Why don't we go back to Why don't we go back to Your bedroom birthday to me <laughs> happy birthday to thee josh is just making me a morning coffee and himself of course it's annoying you don't know what the pods are do you don't say the strength they're not um not proper shebangs are they well, they are some organic. Sure, because it's my birthday and I'm going to chocolate for breakfast. Oh, I'm well, not having a one in there, dinky no. dicker. Yeah. Oh, another dinky dicker. There's a lot of dinky deckers in here, I right? Basically, Josh ate most of these chocolates last night because I felt a bit sick from our meal. And he's left a lot of dinky deckers. Oh, they're melting. Not surprised. It was absolutely boiling in here last night. Honestly, boiling. So the houses are like wooden cladded huts. And they've obviously not really thought it through for now our really hot summers that we suddenly get because the sun was obviously on it all day yesterday and then it just didn't have a chance to cool down so even though it was cold outside because it actually did get quite cold last night in here oh my god it was absolutely boiling so we had two fans on which were then really noisy um has it got milk in or not yeah i put the milk in first oh did you um but yeah wow it was so, so, so noisy. <laughs> noisy. Yeah, noisy and hot. It was so hot. We both had to sleep out the covers. And you know, you're just looking forward to a full night's sleep without the kids. 
like a really comfortable full night's sleep and the bed is actually really comfy but we couldn't even really sleep under the covers so it just doesn't feel the same does it although i did sleep quite well did you yes yeah, I, I brought my eye mask luckily and i'm glad because it was quite light in here especially because we left a gap in the curtains to try and let some air through um and then like around here there was a lot of light coming through these blinds and then up by the um like what's it called the wardrobe room there's like a little window i did shove a few cushions in just to try and hide some of the light but i did have an eye mask on i went to bed in it i was going to use it in the morning when i woke up but i did actually go to bed in the eye mask and i am glad I've literally just got out of the shower and I'm just about to get dressed or we're just about to get dressed should I say um, Josh has just had an outdoor shower while I've had an indoor shower um, but it just felt a bit breezy for an outdoor shower um, but yeah we need to be at breakfast in like 10 minutes so I do really actually need to hurry up and go but I'm sure they won't mind if we're like 5 minutes late the walk to the reception area slash restaurant is actually a lot quicker than we thought like it looks a long way away um, I think it actually took longer in the little golf buggy last night than it did to walk because they have to go like a certain way around whereas when you can walk you just like walk down the path if that makes sense um, so yeah I'm just going to quickly get dressed I'm not doing my makeup yet though so I don't need to do that I'm just going to get dressed Moisturise my face and go. feel a bit grannified <laughs> um, we've just been for breakfast and I'm just having some sparkling water on the terrace before we pack up to go home um, in fact I'm going to move this camera so that you can see a bit of the view there we go how beautiful is that that is so much better actually Wow, we've just been for a walk around the, um, basically the whole thing. And right over there there's like a large chest that we've built up this like little mini castle thing that's got a flag on it. Um, we've walked past some of the boat houses, so obviously all the houses are separate. So we're in one of the retreats, but there's like tree houses, there's boat houses, the boat houses overlook the lake, like they're literally on the lake, they look amazing. Um, but yeah it's just beautiful I think it's going to rain and apparently it's going to rain at 10 I don't know that can't be true it's half 10 <laughs> it's not raining <laughs> but obviously it is really cloudy we need to obviously set off home to get the kids because we have kids to attend to when we get home and then I'm going to then we're going to meet our friend's new baby, so I think she'll be about 10 days old and she's going to be tiny because she was only tiny when she was born, she was like three weeks early so that's exciting. 
but we'll have to take the kids with us. So I don't know if that's exciting or not. I feel like Indy will really try and get to the baby. Um, and then we're going out for tea tonight with the kids. We're just going to a burger restaurant because um, one, we've got a voucher anyway, and two, it's quite a chilled vibe when you when you're taking kids out. In fact, I actually don't think we've taken both kids out for tea since we've had Indy. I really don't think we have. We've done like lunch and breakfast, but I don't think we've done tea. But, but we've booked for half four, so hopefully we'll be eating by five. And then, yeah, we'll try and obviously get home, get the kids to bed and just have a chilled night on the sofa. I do feel really, really tired. But I just think it's because I'm relaxed. I said to Josh, Josh said he's not tired at all. But he doesn't sleep as much as me anyway. Like, he gets less sleep than I do. But even from a full night's sleep, I just feel really tired. But I think it's just because I'm just so relaxed. I could literally just sit here all day. We are nearly home now. We've just literally stopped at the service station to get yeah, it's all right, we're, to get another coffee um, and just some fuel. Really, really needed fuel. It's quarter to one now, and we should be at Josh's mum's in 20, 25 minutes. Um, the journey has honestly been so much better on the way home. We've, we've literally just basically been down like the motorways and dual, dual carriageways but we've worked out that um, yesterday it wasn't taken us this way because a lorry overturned so there was two lane closures because we've just googled it so that's obviously why it was just not even given us this as an option but the journey has just been so much quicker and to be fair I think we've only been driving an hour and 15 minutes haven't we? Mm -hmm. We're sort of at like quarter to twelve it's quarter to... No, we didn't. Nah, it's about half eleven, yeah. It's about half eleven, it's quarter to one. Um, wow, that is hot. I've just got a free cake from Costa for my birthday treat. I don't really go to Costa, but I do have the Costa app, so I went on and it said, have a birthday treat on us, which was a cake, but it's in it expires in six days and I just thought I'm probably not going to go to a Costa in the next six days so I might as well get it now so I've just got a caramel shortbread but I'm not up for eating it right now I just it's just what I chose I didn't have, any, I didn't have um, much option to be fair but the weather today is really grim compared to what it was yesterday yesterday was absolutely beautiful really especially for like the location of where we were but now it's just proper raining, so I'm glad. We oh, didn't come today. It's a good job we didn't come today. Is that new? He knew. The weatherman knew. The weatherman knew. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to collect the kids now, and then we are going to see our friends. Is anyone else as shocked as me that I didn't end this vlog when I was meant to? Because I am not shocked. Um, but it is now Tuesday and we got home on the saturday went to meet our friend's baby who was absolutely beautiful and indy really and in fact casper actually really took a liking to her casper is obsessed with babies now it's just mad to see the transition in his mind from nine months ago but then i also forget that that is literally nearly a full year ago so when indy came along he'd literally just turned two and now he's nearly three um, so his response to babies is just so nice to see because back then he was still a baby himself to be honest like he still had a dummy he still carried his little comforter everywhere um don't get me wrong he loved indy from the get-go but he was uh, very rough with her and he you know he didn't hit her but he threw a lot of stuff at her and now he just really looks after and protects her and he just loves babies um, and then Sunday we had a party at my parents house for my niece and for me kind of so there was like a bouncy castle the day was just manic there was people everywhere um so I just didn't really have a chance to vlog but 
a lot of people were like, oh, what did you get for your birthday? Obviously, my main present from Josh was the night away at the Tawny Hotel, which I would honestly recommend to anyone. It was such a nice stay. Um, I can't wait to go back, honestly. Like, my goal is to book that place every year to just rest and recover and recuperate as a parent of two. And then the kids, the kids got me this Gymshark set, which I've actually got on today. So it's like a long sleeve top. Um, matching pants and a matching sports bra um, which was really nice because my gym wardrobe is not great at the minute. Josh's mum got me some Rudding Park spa vouchers which is also really nice because who doesn't want a spa day? We were just trying to work out when we could use it because we don't like to do too much um, without the kids and we've got something on every month until October without the kids so we just probably said we'll do like October November time and do like a bit of a wintry spa day slash evening. Um, my mum got me a Selfridges voucher because I really wanted some Skims stuff and what else did I get? My friends got me an ASOS voucher, I can't decide whether I'm buying clothes or makeup with it or trainers to be honest. I kind of need some new gym trainers but I don't know. Gym trainers are expensive aren't they and I don't know, I can't decide. And then what else did I get? Oh, my brother got me this cake. Um, I mean, obviously I'm very appreciative of it, but he gave it to me on Sunday. And who is eating this much cake on a Sunday? So it's this red velvet cake from M&S. Um, and there's all that left to eat. It's so thick. But I am obsessed with red velvet. I've loved red velvet for years and years and years. It's always been my favourite cake. And it is beautiful to be fair. And it does say that it lasts. I think the sell by date is the 16th, which would take us to Sunday. So we are going to try and. I had some yesterday because it was Monday. Basically, I forgot to say actually. So Saturday night, we went out for tea straight from seeing our friend's baby. We went to Lou and Joe's, which is a burger place. And both the kids were so well behaved, bless them. Um, Casper ate like most of his burger. But. I've always been like a really sicky person with food, literally from being a bit, well, not a baby, but a child, a young child. And I felt so ill when I got home. My mum popped in with just some smaller presents and there was like a box of hotel chocolates. I was proper looking forward to eating those. And I put Casper to bed, I laid on his bed with him and I just thought, oh God, I feel really sick. Anyway, 10 minutes later, I was throwing my guts up. So I went to bed. And then again, Sunday night, I felt really sick again. I don't know if it was just like alcohol and like, I don't know. I didn't eat, even eat that much on Sunday. I literally had like three slices of pizza, loads of crisps and a hot dog. Like I didn't stuff my face at all because like, it was spread out across the day. But again, I felt so sick and this cake was fresh. Like it had not even been cut into because my niece's cake got cut up at, my parents house so everyone like was eating that and this one was just like a massive fresh cake so me and josh were gonna have some on sunday and josh just really basically ended up eating mine because i just felt awful so i had some yesterday um and then i tried giving some to my cleaner she didn't want any um so yeah we've just got all this left so i'm gonna try and save it till the weekend i need to not eat it really because um it does say it's till the 16th, but I don't know if it says, I don't know if that means if you open it before that, it doesn't last that long, it doesn't actually say that. It just says once open, store in an airtight container, but that to me is an airtight container. We're just shoving it up against the wall. It's that thick. I can't even shove it against an airtight container. I don't have an airtight container that big. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to make myself some lunch now. So I'm just going to finish editing this video and hopefully it'll be up today. I've got an hour and a half till I pick India up. So I was just going to make myself some lunch, edit a few tiktok -y videos and then try and get this video live tonight. But yeah, I've had a really, really nice birthday as always. I actually always really look forward to my birthdays. I know a lot of people say that when you get older, they're boring, but mine are not boring. Um, luckily, Josh always really looks after me. This was my card from the kids, so it's got loads of cute little pictures of them on, bless them. 
And Casper is just obsessed with singing happy birthday to people now as well. And because it's his birthday soon and we keep telling him it's his birthday soon, he keeps singing happy birthday to Casper. <laughs> blessing but yeah thank you so much for watching as i say i would 100 percent recommend the tawny hotel if you are lucky enough to visit we stayed in one of the retreats which is one of the most expensive rooms they do but they do do like these little shepherd huts which start from a lot cheaper and they still look absolutely amazing like i said to josh i'd actually like to go in the winter and stay in one of those i just think it'd be really cute and cozy because they've got like a little log fire burner and everything and they still all have hot tubs so every single room has like a copper bath slash hot tub um so you wouldn't miss out on that if you went for like the cheaper option but yeah the little shepherd's hut we saw someone leaving one of them when we were just having a little mooch around and yeah they just looked so nice but i would definitely recommend going it's such a beautiful hotel and especially parents if you're a parent like it's just somewhere to just there's no signal obviously the white there is wi-fi but there isn't actually any signal so if you like disconnected your phone from the wi-fi then it would just be really peaceful and the the scenery the walks the gardens the grounds like it's all just so nice um but yeah thank you so much for watching guys and i will see you in my next video